Hello, I'm Craig, a Technical Customer Service Associate here at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland. Today, I'm going to show you how to terminate active resources in Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon Simple Storage Service that you no longer need on your account. Before we begin, note that closing your account doesn't automatically terminate your resources. To prevent unexpected charges, you must make sure that all active resources are terminated before closing your account. For additional details related to savings plans, reserved instances, or subscriptions, visit the Knowledge Center article linked in the video description. Let's get started. First, let's focus on terminating active resources in Amazon EC2. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the service with the resources that you want to terminate by entering the service name, in this case, EC2, into the search bar. After opening the service, you can see all the active resources in the EC2 console homepage. Choose each resource type to terminate them. You can still be charged for an Elastic IP address after you terminate your instances if the Elastic IP address is still associated with your account. You can stop this by releasing any Elastic IPs from your account. When you terminate your EC2 instance, your Amazon Elastic Block Store root volumes are automatically deleted, but you are also charged for any Amazon EBS volumes that were attached to the instance. So make sure that you delete them. Now that we've terminated everything in EC2, let's see how to terminate active resources in Amazon S3. Return to the AWS Management Console and search for Amazon S3. When you open the S3 console, your buckets appear under the buckets heading. You can select the bucket and then delete it. You can use the subheadings on the left to view any other active S3 resources and terminate them. So now you know how to terminate active EC2 or S3 resources that you no longer lead on your account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.